Hi everyone. This is a test that I promised to do to uh, uh, Stefan uh, Hartman at the uh, Over Unity forum, and uh, he was uh, interested in seeing uh, a scope uh, attached to the uh, prime mover of my generator, so this motor here, and uh, look at the uh, scope uh, data and information and waveforms to. Uh, determine the uh, power going to the uh, induction motor and to uh, see what happens when I put the circuit uh, under load. So right now I have my uh, circuit here and there's about uh, 35, uh, 36, 37 microfarad there of capacitors and I've uh, used all these little 5 microfarad capacitors because uh, when you put a whole bunch of them in uh, parallel you're really lowering the DC uh, or the internal the internal resistance of the uh, capacitors so that's a benefit there to make sure that you're not wasting any power in the capacitor bank but these uh, capacitors are still in series here and that's going in series there across the uh, primary and the secondary is shorted and uh, then uh, out of the primary uh, I'm coming to these uh, two uh, resistors which will be the load and those resistors are very uh, precise resistors. Uh, that's a 5 ohm, uh, 1%, and uh, that's a 50 watt uh, resistor there. And then this one here is a, uh, sorry about that, 10 ohm, 10 ohm, 1%, also 50 watt uh, resistor. So those resistors uh, are on series here on the uh, return here to the uh, generator so we're gonna put that uh, that'll be our load that's what we're going to be extracting the power out of the uh, generator or the alternator basically here and uh, I'll be turning the circuit on uh, by turning on this switch here and then we're going to look at not just what happens at this watt meter uh, you know we want to see uh, also here on the uh, oscilloscope to see any fine details and uh, any changes in the uh, power that the uh, prime mover uh, consumes. And also, I've got a, co uh, a scope uh, probe here uh, that'll be on, that is on channel three. So here on channel one, we're gonna be monitoring the grid voltage to the induction motor, and uh, probe uh, number two here, channel number two, is across the uh, 0 0.1 ohm 5% uh, resistor and uh, there's the uh, voltage probe uh, which is this one here would be on times 10 and this probe here is on times 1 this probe here is on times 10 and uh, if we look in our menu here uh, if we look at the uh, probe uh, information there it is probe is on 10 for the voltage and if we check the uh, channel 2 it is on one times uh, no inversion in this video <laughs> uh, and then probe number 3 is on times 10 as well and uh, then we'll also be looking at the, uh, the math there's the uh, math menu for uh, times uh, uh, channel 1 times channel 2 and uh, there's our vertical scale uh, that we'll be using and uh, here the measures that we'll be displaying is the RMS voltage uh, on channel 1 which is the grid voltage channel 2 will be our uh, voltage across our shunt here and our shunt uh, basically that will be uh, your, your current and the math, uh, I'll display here the math, will be uh, RMS value of the math and a means uh, value of the math. And this will be uh, channel 3, and that will be the RMS value uh, on our 15 ohm uh, resistor load here on the uh, output of the generator. So that's the circuit that will actually uh, cause no uh, effect back to the uh, prime mover. So here I'll go ahead and connect. 
So we will be able to also do the math to see how uh, accurate my uh, watt meter here has been. And I've got that set to uh, watts right there. And I'll go ahead and start it. So it's plugged in now. And now you can see the uh, waveform on the scope. data. We have 123 volts on the grid. We have uh, 213 uh, hovering on our 214 across our uh, 0.01, uh, sorry, 0 0.1 uh, ohm uh, resistor. And that is 29.5 uh, volts RMS in our mass. And our mean is at 21.7, and nothing uh, is going across our load yet because I didn't turn it on. And as you can see here, our math is all on top, so we are using real power, nothing is being returned. Uh, even though it's an induction motor, hardly anything is being returned there. Uh, so now I will turn on the circuit. But I'll tell you, before I turn on this circuit, um, because we're looking at the 60 hertz here on the uh, grid side, and the alternator is going to output a different frequency, uh, you won't be able to get a synchronization for the third channel. So the third channel uh, will be just moving by. But that doesn't mean that we can't get an accurate reading on it. We will get an accurate reading still, even though it's not in synchronization with the frequency of the grid. So now you can look at my watt meter. So we have around 163 uh, watts in average. All right, so you can now do the math and find out if this thing has been displaying uh, correctly. Now I'll turn on the uh, circuit. And uh, nothing has changed here. And if we look now, here in the background, we're seeing the uh, uh, channel 3, which is the voltage across our load uh, going by. And if we look how much that is, we have uh, 21.6 volts, uh, or 0.5, somewhere around that range, uh, across our 15 ohm load. So we are now actually delivering 30 watts, maybe a little bit more than 30 watts. Let's just call it 30 watts to our load. And if we look at our data here, we are still uh, pretty well the same. So there's small little fluctuations in the grid voltage. So you might see this is changing. So right now what I'll do is I'll turn off the uh, load. So you saw it's gone and you see zero change there. And I'll give you a bit of a view here. I'll go ahead and turn it on again. So, I don't know, I see zero change, and basically I tuned it so there is zero change. We're getting our maximum amount we can get without uh, affecting the uh, prime mover. So there, I'll shut it off again. Sorry about the focus, I don't know uh, what's causing that. Oh, maybe it's because I had zoomed in, sorry. Okay, so there's a clearer view. And I'll turn it back on again. So as you can see, there is absolutely, absolutely no change whatsoever to the uh, uh, power going to our prime mover, and we are delivering uh, over 21 watt, uh, 21 uh, volts across our uh, our 15 ohm load. I'll shut it off again. And turn it on and once more, and uh, we'll be done. I'll just give you an overview here. There's our 
wire coming out here of the uh, this here I have rigged it up that I have my grid voltage coming on this side here of the uh, uh, generator so that it uh, has an easy access so basically I have this wire coming out here that's just going inside the panel which is going to the grid and it's just convenient because uh, this side is grid and then this side here is uh, the uh, alternator uh, output and that's the only wires and there's our induction motor and that wire there is basically our wire from the induction motor coming underneath here coming out and this is uh, us here feeding the grid from that watt meter and to across our shunt there is our current or voltage probe as our voltage probe there so everything is very clean I know this is hard to believe but uh, this is uh, possible to do. So I think that's about it on that and uh, hope you are satisfied now to see that this is truly working. Thanks for watching. Bye now.